All right, the next step is to mount our motors. We're going to use your screwdriver and screws for the first time. If you take a look at the tip of your screwdriver, you'll see it's kind of like a plus shape. Let's take a look at the head of the screw and you'll see that it also has that plus shape in there. The screwdriver fits right into the screw like that to make it easy to turn. This is called a Phillips head screwdriver and that just means that it has that plus shape. There's different kinds of screwdriver with different shapes. All our screws in this kit are going to be installed using your Phillips head screwdriver so you'll get really familiar with it. Where you're going to install screws, think righty tidy, lefty loosey. So when you tighten the screw, you're going to turn to your right, righty tidy, and when you're loosening it, you're going to turn the screwdriver the other way to your left, lefty loosey. I know it sounds silly, but even the most advanced robot builders still keep this in their head every time they install a screw. Take a look at your drive clamps. This is what they look like. You'll see that it's going to fit right over the motor like this, and it's going to keep it in the robot. Now there's a shape to the motor clamp there, and you'll see that it matches this shape. So make sure to match those where you're installing it. We don't want to put it in backwards like this. I'm going to go ahead and just place it over the motor, just like that. And you'll see that if you just hold your finger on it and wiggle the motor, it's pretty secure already. So let's go ahead and install the screws. Now when you're installing these screws, you want to try to put them in as straight as you can. You'll feel that it takes a little bit of force to turn it, and that's because you're actually cutting the threads into the plastic. Since your robot is plastic, you want to be careful not to over tighten these because it could damage your robot chassis. So go ahead, and once it's seated, you can give it a little turn, but it shouldn't be tightening them too hard. We'll do the same thing for the second one. Now let's check that. This motor is connected really solidly to your frame. That side is ready to go. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Again, making sure that we line up the motor clamp correctly so that it matches the bottom shape in the chassis. And then we'll use two screws to install it to make it easier to install the screw. If this is your first time using tools and it feels a little tricky, don't worry. This is just like anything else, and practice makes perfect. As you build more and more, you get to get more comfortable using your hands and more comfortable using tools like this. It's all part of becoming a robot builder. All right, both our motors feel good. Everything is tight. Now, I forgot to mention it before, but when you tighten down your motors, make sure that there's no wires that snuck in there. You don't want a wire running under your motor, and then when you tighten this clamp down, it could squish that wire. So go ahead and make sure that there's no wires under your motors at this point. They should all be loose. Um, and I'll show you where to put those a little bit later. 